depth of cut. This is the last one of the outside cuts on on all of these pieces. So let's just see. Uh, uh, it's kind of like assembly line. The that's nine hundred ninety-seven thousandths. The outside is. One inch, one hundred and twenty-one thousandths. You do the math. Let's get her done. That's a pretty decent cut for any machine. I am using a little aluminum cutting oil here. I just sparingly. And I did grind that bit there so that I wouldn't. I, I, didn't, I didn't want no big old springy looking borrow shape chip so I ground that bit there where it would uh, break those chips in little small pieces and the, 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 the beauty about this Sureline lathe is the speed control on it it's kind of innocent in its uh, in its range it's a pretty innocent something and, and, and don't, uh, I have no idea what the speed is right now. Uh, just one of those things that, uh, you know, I don't need to know. It cuts good. That's, that's the last outside cut right there. And uh, as you can see, that's, uh, that's pretty good. You know, the matching lines, that's where you can tell if you've got a, if your lathe is in true and your chuck jaws are in alignment, is when you make two opposing cuts and they, you know, you know what, um, if you, if your lathe will do this right here, oh, you got a pretty good lathe. You see, there's, there's no, there's no, I can't feel it, but I can see it, uh, the, the finish, it's, it's, uh, well, that's pretty good. You know, don't matter who done it, that's pretty good. Now, I've done all of the outside cuts. The, uh, you see how it fits in there? Oh, that's a good fit right there. Because these right here would be rusting as according to how you cleaned them, just to work if you got a big one or a little one. Each end is in a, is in a cording. And, um, uh, you know, that's just a good test apparatus right there. If it fits, it... <laughs> I'm not going to go there. <laughs> and to cut the length, the way I do that is uh, it's one of them thick rulers, a six-incher, and that's the original end up there of the turned-down things. Put that right in there. Let that go down yet, or where it'll be in there, good and good and true. The tighten it up. Remove the spacer. We're ready to cut it off. One cut to length. I'm, 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 I'm out, I mounted the uh, cutoff tool on the back of the cross slide, and the uh, cutter tool is upside down. The way I do that is I, I measured from the face of the chuck to the inside of the cutter tool, the blade. What I do is Position that right there, position that right there, 
that offsets it to the right amount to clear my chuck jaws. Tighten that up. Remove the spacer and we're good to cut her off. Back her up, clear the work piece, this one here will have to be cut to length, just get that now there, see what we got. Three ninety-seven. That's really good. That's really, really good.